Well, as summer continues to heat up, many people are flocking to the beaches here in Eastern Carolina. But not every beach is the same when it comes to safety measures, including the use of lifeguards. Olivia Dole spoke with coastal town officials and tourists about the need or lack thereof of safety personnel. She joins us live from Surf City. Olivia. Dave, Courtney, most beaches in our area do have lifeguards, but that is not the case for North Topsail or Surf City beaches. I spoke with town managers in Surf City to see if this will change in the near future, especially after a drowning happened most recently in the area. 43-year-old Raymond Whitfield died while swimming along the Surf City coast on Wednesday. But at least one tourist says he doesn't see that as a reflection of the fact that the coastal town does not use lifeguards. I've seen on my end where I'm from and how we kind of conduct um, life safety issues. Um, I think that they're doing pretty good. Surf City leaders say the idea has been brought up in the past. I think we have thought about it before. I think as of right now, you know, we're sticking to the roaming lifeguard. Um, with the, the amount of growth that is in Surf City. And there are other safety options, including the use of ocean rescue. We utilize a response model uh, more so than a, a static or observation model. So our ocean rescue personnel roam the beach. They don't necessarily sit in a static location, such as a lifeguard stand or on a pier or something of that nature. For tourists like Justin Schmidt, the model currently being used is just fine. Reality is real, so we can only do with, you know, so much of what you got. So yeah. that's kind of how we see things from an outsider's perspective. I reached out to the mayor of, Ta of North Topsail Beach about the lifeguard shortage, and she did not have time in her schedule to talk to me. I also reached out to North Topsail leaders, but they did not respond in time for the airing of this story. Live in Surf City, Olivia Doles, WITN News. All right, thanks, Olivia. And Surf City's mayor suggests that if you get into the water above your knees, bring a floating device with you. She also says do not go into the water alone.